So let's go and take a look at um, even or odd. Now, previously, we talked about even or odd, and you guys were assessed on even or odd functions, but it was just by what the graph looked like, right? If it was reflected about the y-axis, it was even. Reflected about the origin, it was odd. Rather simple, right? And you, you know, for test questions, it was either I was going to give you a graph um, or I was going to be giving you an equation like the 12 basic functions that you should know what the graph looks like and then see if you guys could determine if it was even or odd. Here, we have no idea what these graphs look like, or at least I have no idea what these graphs look like, right? And I assume that many of you probably you don't know how to determine if it's even or odd, and you know you're not going to have a calculator. So we got to figure out a way to determine this. Now, I'm going to cut right to the chase, and then I'll explain. The way to determine if, some, if a function is even or odd is just to plug in f of negative x. That's all you got to do. We don't need to get out our graphing calculator. Just need to plug in f of negative x. Negative x cubed is equal to a negative x cubed. 2 times neg negative x. So any, any, number, any expression raised to an odd power is still negative. Any odd negative expression raised to an even power is now positive. And what you guys observe here is we have the negation of our original function. Right? You could like factor out the negative. You don't have to. But for educational purposes, I'm going to use parentheses. Okay, So what we technically have, wouldn't you guys agree that under here is really what f of x is? Yes? So really what we have is the opposite of f of x. Right? So what's so, guess what? When you plug in f of negative x and you get the opposite of f of x, the function is odd. If you plug in f of negative x, and you get the opposite of that function, the function is odd. We plugged in a negative x. We got the opposite of our original function. So, uh, so if you get the opposite, it'll be off. I guess you get the same, it'll be even. We'll get to that. But let's look at why that makes sense. Because let's look at the odd function. Let's pick an odd function. How about x cubed? x cubed looks like that. Nice and beautifully reflected about the origin, right? X axis, Y axis. Yes? All right, let's pick a random number, let's say 2. Well, let's say X. And let's, in this case, let's have X equal 2. If you put in the X cubed, if you cube that, you would get out a F of X value, which in this case would be 8. Correct? Yeah. Now, what if we plugged in opposite of X? which in this case would be negative 2, right? If you plug in negative 2, negative 2 cubed is negative 8, or the opposite of f of x. If f of x is 8, the opposite of f of x is negative 8. So when you plug in 2, you get f of x. If you plug in a negative, you're going to get the negative y value, right? Like yeah. Behind. So if you're going to plug in, yes, to your answer, yes. Um, so if you plug in a positive number, you're going to get f of x or whatever the f of x is. Okay. If you plug in the negative version, you're going to get the negative value. Or if you get the negative value of that, that's, then it's an odd function. Okay. So right? Opposite. Right. It's going to be exactly the opposite. So yeah, if you used 1 and you plugged in 1, let's do it. 1 cubed is 1. 1 squared is 1 times 2 plus 1. So that's 2 plus 1 is 3. So it would be 3 times 1, which is 3. So if I plug in negative 1, I should get a negative 3. I'm like, that's negative 1. That's still 3. You get now a negative 3. So yeah, with numbers, it would work as well. OK, I'll do that instead of x, because that makes 